In today's video, I'm joining some of my friends for a dollhouse transformation Christmas edition. We're taking Dollar Tree doll houses and giving them a makeover. This is being hosted by my friend Melissa and other people joining in are Marjorie, LaParsha, Aunt Becky, and Jackie. So, my first inspiration piece is this clip art from Graphics Fairy. Isn't that sweet? First thing I did was spray painted the house and the roof with this spray paint in the top left corner. But as you see, I'm gonna save that roof for another project. And I'm bringing in this one. It has been sprayed with primer because we've had a hard time with paint sticking to these. And I've painted the windows and the roof with chalk art paint. Chalk art? No. Chalk paint by Waverly. Hmm. In white. And I'm in uh, ugh, covering the entire roof and windows with that white. Now here we go. I've got the windows and door snapped back in and you can see there's some paint loss there. But I think it will be camouflaged after I put on these shutters. I'm making some shutters with popsicle sticks and I will be painting them green. I needed two shorter ones for the top windows than what the bottom ones were. But if you decide to do this, you'll figure that out on your own, I'm sure. The color that I'm painting with is a gorgeous shamrock green from Apple Barrel. It's called New Shamrock. And I'll only have to paint the front and the sides. I also painted the front door with that bright green color. And then I went in around the door with some white to make that stand out. And there's the first shutter going on. And you'll see it's going to camouflage that paint loss there beside the window. I didn't film it for some reason, but after that, I went over the detail around the top of the windows and underneath with chalk markers. There, I'm just doing some touch ups. And you'll see the detail standing out more above the window and on the door. I took a pipe cleaner, green pipe cleaner, twisted it into a circle to make a wreath to go on that roof, and added a tiny, tiny, hard to tie red ribbon. The last thing I did was added some snow on the top of the roof by putting down some hot glue and some of the fake snow, and there's how it turned out. Looks like a sweet country farmhouse, in my opinion. Lovely beautiful Christmas colors. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I'd like to say welcome and introduce myself. My name is Leah and this is Junker Necker DIY, where I put out new budget decor videos every week. On my channel, you'll see things like Pinterest inspired projects, thrift flips, Dollar Tree DIYs, trash to treasure projects, and I will occasionally share my shopping hauls here. If those things interest you, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you. Now this next house is inspired by something that Make It With Micah had on her page, Cute Peppermint House. So I'm gonna take this bottom part that's white and there's that red roof again. I'm gonna put it with the bottom part First, I'm gonna put Mod Podge all over the house itself, and I'm gonna lay it on pretty heavy because I have some paper that's gonna go on here. I picked up some peppermint stripe paper from Hobby Lobby, gorgeous. And here I'm just measuring how tall it needs to be, how wide, and kind of scoring it with my fingers and fingernails to see where I need to cut it. And there we are. Everything's fitted. Everything's cut out. 
And I'm going to lay that over and make sure it has a nice tight seal with the house. Now I'm going to put that to side to dry. And we'll use this Waverly chalk paint in white again because I'm going around the windows with a small brush and just bringing out that window frame with white. I also went across the front of those windows, the little dot in the middle and a line over the top of the window. And now I'm going to just put some squiggly lines on the top of those, I think they're called dormer windows. Anyway, that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to paint every other section on this part white. And that's coming right along. Looking good, looking good. All stripey and pepperminty. Now I'm snapping the door back in after I have cut out with a utility knife the door and window spaces. Sorry I didn't get that on film. Then I'm going to paint those windows with flag red acrylic paint from Apple Barrel. And I'm going to paint that strip right down the top right corner because it's going to show once I snap the two pieces together. Now, using a white chalk marker, I'm going to go over that door, let that detail shine. And the last thing I did was hot glued some real peppermints across the top with my glue gun, Basher Bonder. And that's how that house looks. Peppermint house. This next house was inspired by, well, gingerbread houses. You see them everywhere this time of year. And I'm going to do my own version of the gingerbread house using this style house that has the purple top, pink bottom. I'm using the color Nutmeg Brown and covering the entire house and roof with the Nutmeg Brown. Now, for some reason, the purple color held the paint better, but I had to put a second coat on the pink part. Go figure. Anyway, here I am putting on that second coat right now. And then since I'm a glutton for punishment, I'm going to make it a double decker. I'm adding in another floor by taking a, another piece of a house that's the same style and painting it with that nutmeg brown. So now I've got all these bright beautiful colors lined up that I'm going to be making faux gumdrops on the roof with and I'll tell you in order what they were and I'll also list them in the descriptions in case you would like to find the same colors yourself. This pink color is called fuchsia The orange color that I used is called Vivid Orange. Sorry, I didn't get that on there. The yellow color is called Yellow Flame. The green color is Lime Green. Then I'm going to use a blue color called Calypso Sky. And I'm going to use the purple color called Purple Iris. These are all plaid brand paints and they're either Apple Barrel or Folk Art. And I'll also put that in the descriptions below. Now that I got all the dots on the roof, I'm just doing some more of the detail. I really love this bright green, so I'm coming in with bright green on that hump. I don't know what it's called. A weird dormer. Anyway, I did the spindle looking things also, and yeah, guess who messed up their wet paint? I did. I did. 
to get the two to go together, I had to trim off the little bracket things on the top of the bottom house. Added a good amount of hot glue. Stuck them together like so. And getting out some straws because I'm going to use those like peppermint sticks on the sides and across the roof. You'll notice that I left the windows and doorways white because it looks kind of like frosting on a gingerbread, I suppose. I cut some pieces of those straws to fit on the sides and I glued a piece of the straw across the top and I also covered up my boo-boos where I messed up the wet paint with some more sticks at the bottom. I put a real peppermint in the top of that little dormer whatever window and yeah there it is. I'm super happy with how it turned out. I just hope nobody goes out of that top door because it's a door to like a cartoon. Anyway, there's all three of my houses. My gingerbread, my peppermint house, my red and green and white farmhouse. And there I remembered to put my little Christmas trees in there with the houses that I got from Dollar Tree. So yeah, all in all, I'm happy with how they turned out. And I hope you liked this video. Be sure to check out the playlist with the link below in the descriptions and also visit Melissa Makes It DIY's channel if you're not already familiar with her. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye bye.